Welcome to West Virginia Independence Hall in Wheeling. This building served as the capital of the Commonwealth of Virginia from 1861 to 1863. It is also the site that witnessed the birth of the great state of West Virginia. Built in 1859 as the United States Custom House, it gained historic significance during the early years of the American Civil War, when it became the State House for the Restored Government of Virginia, the government of Virginia loyal to the United States. Several events transpired here that would lead to the formation of the new state of West Virginia. The building originally served as a regional post office, housed the Federal Customs Office, and provided the courtroom for the United States Federal District Court. Today, the Custom House, known as West Virginia Independence Hall, is a National Historic Landmark and is listed on the Civil War Discovery Trail. On the lower level of the building, we have a gallery space for changing exhibits and a theater where we show our interpretive film for Liberty and Union, which provides historic background for our visitors to learn about the site. Here on the first floor, we have exhibits that showcase West Virginia's involvement in the Civil War and our formation as a new state. We also have the 1860s post office, restored to its original appearance. On the second floor, we have the restored 19th century office of Governor Francis Pierpont of the Restored Government of Virginia, who is considered the father of West Virginia. Across the hall is the office of the Surveyor of Customs, which includes the original vault. This floor serves as the repository and showcase of our state's Civil War battle flags, one of the largest collections that you can find. In our flag discovery room, visitors can design their own flags, take a quiz on our interactive kiosks, have your pictures taken with the troops, and learn about flag preservation. In the Wheeling Room, we have an exhibit to highlight the 19th century role of Wheeling as one of West Virginia's premier cities. This historic courtroom is where conventions were held during the Civil War that led to the creation of the pro-Union Restored Government of Virginia. This restored government will carry out the processes to create the new state of West Virginia. This is also the place in which the West Virginia State Constitution was written. We have carefully restored the courtroom to its original appearance, including the decorative art known as Trump Loy. And while we are proud of the state history that Independence Hall showcases for visitors, it is interesting to note that its construction deserves attention on its own. The construction with iron I-beams became the forerunner of that that was later used in skyscrapers. West Virginia Independence Hall offers daily tours and special programs throughout the year. Join us as we commemorate our state's history. We look forward to seeing you soon.